What's happening folks? Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing. We are in Key West, Florida, and uh, I think we're here right before the big blow this morning. So we're gonna try to do some tarpon right here. We got Captain Brandon Sear with us, and uh, he's got a little pod located right here. We're gonna see if we can show you a tarpon here real quick. You picked out a balloon that matched the <laughs> rods. <laughs> it's all about color coding. I don't think I've ever used a pinfish before on tarpon. Yeah, you know, it's kind of their natural, one of their natural food sources down here. You can use shrimp, live crabs, pinfish. Pilchards are real popular. You know, a lot of guys will get a well full of pilchards and get in front of them and chum them up. I like using the pinfish as a real hearty bait. It stays alive a long time. Putting that balloon on there stops them from swimming down to the grass. So it's almost like an easy eye candy for a tarpon. They're all around it right now. They've moved up to it. Oh, here we go, fish. Here you go, real, real. Hey, got him. Ready Good job, jump, buddy. Get ready for the jump. Point. Good job. Nice fish, Blair. Good job, buddy. Let me know if I'm uh, coming up too fast on him, all right? Okay. So that rod's got some backbone to oh, it. Oh, yeah, it does. It's a nice sized fish. There's that balloon right there. I don't think it's coming up the line. He's close. Yeah. Definitely giving these new loose rods and reels a workout. Look, she's coming up. Come on, dude. That balloon ought to move down if I hit it, won't it? Uh, I should, but I'm going to slide it down for you. Just keep your eye on that fish in case it jumps. I don't want to get caught in the rods up there. All right. Good beans. Now I don't have a strike indicator. <laughs> yeah. You know, these early preseason tarpon, a lot of times they come to these little coves just to find warm water. Typically, we're fishing them on the outside as they're migrating through. But this time of year, they're just doing whatever they can to stay warm. So you get a little, oh, nice jump. That was awesome. Tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with how quickly you stopped that fish with that, that rod, man. That's some light tackle on a big fish. This is the meat stick of the inshore series, the eight footer. Look at that. She still got a little spunk left in her. A little bit. I always get people ask me, how do you land such big fish on a little rod and little line? Yeah. Well, good quality tackle. And I mean, a lot of it just comes down to technique, how you're pulling, you know, whatever direction she swims you're pulling against her, that's that much extra pressure. You know, really putting a good bend into the rod. A lot of times people, you know, they, they tend to get lazy and just, because it's a lot of work, you know, but it is. you want to land these fish fast. You got to break their spirit. Otherwise, they'll pull you around all day. Well, so far, so good. The old FG knot's working. <laughs> yeah. You know, a good knot like that's really important on these rods, you know, a big fish like this, because that knot's going in and out of that guide so many times. Especially when you're putting that much pressure on them. There's some serious pressure on this fish right now. It's coming up. Just for a gulp. Roll, baby, roll over. Here uh -oh. she comes. Oh! <laughs> nice so fish. Just like that. Got me a little wet. <laughs> That's what tarpon fishing's all about, right? More there. ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I had leader in the eyes that time, so that's a caught fish. Considered caught anyway. Yeah, I always we're... like to touch them. Yep. She's getting kind of tired. I'm gonna back up to this edge here and I'm gonna drop that talon down, kind of hold us in place, all right? All right. Come on, tarpon. I do believe we're gonna to get to touch this one. Yeah, when I first saw you pick up that little rod and you wanted to fish tarpon, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out, but 
you've gotten her pretty quick to the boat there. This one here is a lot bigger than the ones we were seeing yesterday, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I've seen stories of uh, people getting their nose broken. Oh, and yeah. Having all kinds, have I've had one knock my hat off before, but typically you can get out of the way in time. Perfect hookup. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and have you take a step back for me. I think you're gonna get her in here in a couple cranks. Let's see if she wants to play nice. Not quite ready yet. Get ready for her. She might go underneath. Slurping, no more slurping. Good job, keep that head down. All right. That was perfect, good job, buddy. Yeah, you see how she was ready for air there? Yeah. Being able to stop them like that, putting the rod tip down in the water and stopping them from getting air. I'll get be getting down a lot dirty faster. with them. What a beast on the eight footer, brother. I'll take her underneath, try underneath. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Mouthful of water. Yep, I guess I need a bath. She's going underneath again. <laughs> Still got a little energy left in her. Told you, man. Just when you think they're gonna, they're done. Good job, buddy. Come on, she can't have too much left. Come on, big girl. That's all getting a hold on the lip, huh? <laughs> well, when you're ready, I'll come down and grab that hook. Oh. Man, what a strong fish. You wanna come take a knee down here next to yeah. oh. You lift that belly up. Get look that out. Hook out. Woo, circle hook did his job. Man, they're strong. They are. Let's see if I can kick that back in towards you there. Ah, man, there what a slob. That's a fish and a half there. Woo! Nice green tarpon, baby. Look at I that. I love it. Man. What a fish. Those scales, big eyes. It just looks like they've been chiseled out of a block of, you know, ice or glass or something. What a fish. I mean, they're prehistoric as it gets right there. All right, buddy, so what we're going to do, let's pull up that talon. Crank it up. Crank it up. Let's get some uh, fresh oxygen running over her gill. We want to make sure she comes away nice and strong. Definitely want to make sure they're good and revived before you release these See guys. her tail curling up? She's getting ready to kick my ass here. All right, so I'm going to just kind of let her, whenever she's ready to go, I'm going to let her go. I never get tired of catching them things. Never. I don't think anybody can. She's starting to pull on my thumb a little bit. Starts closing her mouth, starting to swim on her own. I'm gonna give her a nice little shove here and let her go. Took a nice gulp of air. Oh yeah, oh, and off nice she goes. Kick. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> Good stuff. Woo! Woo! Brandon Sear right here. Y'all ever come to Key West? He knows where they're hiding. We'll get you a big one. That's nice, bro. That Good was, stuff, buddy. Way to put the work awesome. on that fish. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Success! That's what tartan fishing's all about, man. All right, what's next? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, folks, taking a quick break just to show you what we're using out here today. This is the brand new Luz Inshore. This is the 7.6 model. Got it rigged with a prototype reel. These reels are eventually gonna be a different color. We're just kind of testing them out right now. But got it rigged with 10 pound test. This is Seaguar Smackdown, the smoothest line I've ever used. And uh, using 15 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon here and got it with uh, one of the best knots I've ever used. And that is the FG knot. It goes through the guides really well. And using a jig head here that Brandon makes up with an eagle claw hook, got an, just gives it a little fluff and we got it tipped with a uh, tip with a shrimp. So hopefully we can show you a bonefish. Short. How's it been since the recovery since 2010? You know, it's pretty incredible actually. You know, when I was a kid growing up, 
if you went out and you saw four or five bonefish in a day, it was considered a great day. Where now, we're getting 20, 30 shots a day. That's what's so great. Okay, I got a puff right there at uh, two o'clock. Yeah, I don't see the fish yet. Okay, yep, right here, uh, two o'clock, 30 feet. Yep, go ahead. Okay, reel it up fast, you're way past him. Okay, stop, let's sit. Jig, 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 got him. There he goes. Good job. That's a big one too, dude. That's fish a stud. On, brother. That is a stud. That was the biggest fish in that school. Fish on, brother. You gotta love that. Oh man. Bony Maloney's. You know what I love about this player? It doesn't matter how many times you do it. I'm oh, I know. It's my whole life and my heart pounding out of my chest right now. Getting the sight fish. If you could see my back right now, I got chills up and down. <laughs> I'm sure it's got goosebumps on goosebumps. Oh, big, big bull shark coming in. I gotta start the motor. I just went slack. Oh, you can keep, you can keep a little bit of pressure on him. As soon as I start this motor, he's gonna take off. All right, go slack on it. Look at that shark right there, man. That's like a 10-foot bull right there. Y'all saw what I did there. He's got two great big bull sharks out here that just got lit up because of this bonefish. So I went totally slack on it, something you're not supposed to do. I opened my bail and let that bonefish run away from him. A few times I've brought back half a bonefish before. We're close. Blair, I'm gonna drop that talon down and hold us in place here, all right, buddy? All right. Right below us. What a beautiful fish, man. That was awesome, brother. You know what, I think that, I'm gonna classify that one as my first bonefish, because my first bonefish in the Keys was about a half a pound. <laughs> so Blair, one of the cool things about bonefish is, just like sharks, if you take them and you come get them up, yeah. you turn them upside down like this, they go into a trance. As soon as you roll them over, he wakes up, they'll start fighting again. Man, that is an absolute slob. That is a nice fish. Those colors and the scales, man. So that's why they're so hard to see. Those scales right there, I mean, it's almost like a mirror. And you're looking down that green back over that grass. Look at that blue in that tail. Isn't that incredible? That's, that's the most lit up on a bonefish tail I've ever seen. Yeah, let's get this hook out of him and we'll let him go. <laughs> Man, tarpon and bone just had to splash me. Let's see. Get to keep that throw car and get it out. Should be able to pop it out. All right, buddy. You want to give him a nice little release goodbye? Give him oh, a good kiss yeah. for good luck. That is a big one, man. Yeah, you don't get those in Belize. Let him kick off. Yep. There you go. She's right, man. They're pretty, pretty resilient. As long as you keep them in the water, you know, they got fresh water flowing over their gills. We do the blood samples with Bonefish Tarpon Trust. As long as you keep them in the water, they're nice, happy fish, and that's the biggest, most important thing. A lot of people take them out of the water for pictures and hold them. Yeah. They can drop. And we had a, uh, we did a bonefish. God, this was years and years ago when Boga Grips first came out, and it's, <laughs> it's on the internet. I got slapped for. Uh, for putting a, a boga grip on one. Yep. And I didn't do it, but the guy that we were with did it. And uh, you don't want to do boga grips or anything on those fish. You saw we didn't keep him out of the water, but what, three seconds yep. there? We're two thirds of the way there for a slam. One more, let's go get the permit, buddy. One more. Brother, that was awesome. Congratulations, no problem, buddy. Yes! Woo! All right, folks, let me show you what we're using here now. We just changed spots. We're trying for a permit. Permit absolutely love these crabs. We got it rigged with a little trocar hook there. And we also have dropped down to 15 pound test fluorocarbon leader and uh, still using 20 pound test Seaguar Smackdown with this. And the eight foot rod, because you never know what you're gonna you know, stumble onto on the flats here. Could be a big one, could be a little one. And you don't want to get under gun with a big permit. But uh, that's what we're using today. And uh, hopefully we're gonna show you a permit. See if we can't finish out the slam here. Going for the slam. Graphite Ninja, man. Wind's blowing so hard, I almost feel like a downhill skier. <laughs> kind of steering our way down.
Permit right here. 11 o'clock coming at you at 80 feet. Yep, go ahead. Stop it. Okay, let it sit. Fish yeah, on, buddy! buddy. <laughs> the slam, brother! Just keep it tight on him, all right? I'm gonna pull after him. That's a Woo! big fish, dude. That is a moose. Holy moly. Way to go, Blair. Good job, homie. Holy cow. Keep it tight. Welcome to the Florida Keys. It don't get much better than, it don't get any better than that. Especially, you got a 30 mile an hour wind, dude. You are the friggin' man. That's the holy grail, buddy. That's the hardest fish in the world to catch in the flats. Man, they got some power too. That's a big fish, man. I'm glad I got the eight footer. I was thinking about doing the seven six. He'd have smoked me on that one. He would what, have. Uh, what pound test are you running on that? 15. 15? Yeah. That's a hell of a fish on 15, man. They want to got the tarpon on. I ain't got a horse in. I ain't got a horse in. Man, that happened fast, didn't it? That's the way it's supposed to happen, eh? Yeah. You know, when they turn broadside like that, I mean, they use all that surface area against you in the current. Like a flounder yep. when you turn sideways. All right, I'm going to hop on down and put that, uh, drop the talent, okay? All right, man. Sounds good. You were asking what a Mogan was earlier? That's a Mogan? That's a Mogan. That is a Mogan and a half. What a beautiful fish. God, what do y'all see this fish, man? You're gonna snatch his tail here in a second. What a fish! <laughs> Woo! Bro. Oh my god! Look at that fish! What a beast! You got her? Yeah, I got her. Congratulations, Woo! dude! Welcome to Florida Keys. Thirty slam. pounds? Yeah, I'd 20, say up there, 25. 25, 30. My god, what a fish! Look at that hook, perfect, right in the corner of the mouth. What a, what a fun, 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 fun fish! <laughs> oh, oh my that's god! That's awesome, bro. Look at that fish, y'all. What a fish, Yeah, buddy. buddy. What a fish. Oh. oh my God. A long time coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Fish. That's about all I can say is wow. <laughs> and get away with it on TV. I'll give me some sunlight. I don't want to get a sunlight picture of this sucker. See how big their eyes are I was talking about? You don't need a souvenir, Want those pliers? No, nope, got it. There's the hook. Ugh. Awesome. All right, buddy. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, man. Dude. That. <laughs> That's a fish of a lifetime, man. Fish of a lifetime. It's over. That's what you call a Florida Key slam. Tarpon, bonefish, and a beautiful, beautiful permit, bro. Y'all ever get a chance? Captain Brandon Sear. And if he happens to be Book, he's got a brother that's just as good as he is. I bet you'll fight about that one, though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is older. I did learn a lot from him. So. Wow. Not many places in the world you can go and do that in a couple hours in a windy day in the middle of the winter. If a permit don't get you shaking, you better get rid of all your fishing gear. Wow. Yeah, buddy, man, he's, he lit up on that crab. Unbelievable. That was a perfect scenario. Fish coming at us, nice clean water, all fired up. And as soon as that crab landed two to three feet away, he spun, tailed up on it. I mean, that was like textbook. You're gonna have dreams about that. I will dream. I, I, I've been, I just relived it about 400 times in my head like that. <laughs> wow. Well, even better, you got it on video. You yeah. can watch it as much as you want. Don't let the wind, as you can see, it is absolutely blowing. If y'all come down here to the Keys, don't let the wind discourage you. I woke up this morning and we had that 25 mile an hour forecast. I was like, oh God, not again. 
but best fishing trip in years. Yeah, I mean, that's years. one thing a lot of people think because it's windy, the fishing's gonna be bad, but as far as sight casting goes, it actually helps us. It allows us to get closer to the fish. It hides our sound a lot better. I mean, as you've seen today, we got the slam. Not much more you can ask for than that. Not much more. Good job. So buddy. I guess that closes it. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Don't know what else to say. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Well, folks, you can see we're back at the dock right now. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and it had to be one of the quickest days I've ever been fishing in the Keys and got a slam like that. If you ever get a chance to come down here and fish with Captain Brandon, I'll tell you what, he will do his best to put you on the fish. I mean, he pulled in the wind and it was blowing 30 miles an hour out there. And as I said earlier in the show, I cannot believe I was so discouraged about this morning going into it because 30 mile an hour winds you usually don't do that good fishing. But uh, Woo, what a day. Big fish, uh, the loser products did great, the beaver tail did great, everything did great. The, the stars were aligned basically as they say. But uh, if y'all like what you saw on the show today, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell up there. And if you like what you saw, click the like button and leave us a comment because uh, it all helps us do, make better shows. But uh, I am so flabbergasted about today. One awesome day fishing on the water. That's about all I can say.